You know what to do during a code. If you are a nurse in the United States, you have to have an ACLS certification. Hindi lang basta BLS. Because during a code, you are expected to lead the code before the code team will arrive. So, if you are the bedside nurse and you witness someone unconscious, you check the pulse, the patient's not breathing. Let's say this is a hospital setting. What will you do? Number one, you have to activate the code sa bawat head part ng patient. Patient's bed meron kaming code blue button you could push that but that code blue button will only activate the code blue in the unit then you have to call someone and say hey get the code card but that will not be how i will sound during a code i will be like bring the code card here and please someone call the code and you have to know the code the number to call the code because not all hospitals will have the same. In my previous hospital, we have to call 00. In my current hospital, it, it's a different number, but it's written at the back of your badge if you don't memorize it. But, you know, you have to memorize it, but some nurses still cannot memorize that, but it's okay as long as you have it in your badge, as long as you know where to call to look. If you don't know the number, then that's okay. Let me give you an example. This is a funny story. When I just moved to the burn unit because I came from a med surge tally floor, running a code from where I came from was the ceiling. Diba? One time I posted something about your ceiling is someone else's floor. When I started working at the burn unit, takot na takot sila sa code. And then one time I was looking after someone else's patient. The nurse went on a break and she gave me a report kasi ganun yun eh. that's why future usrns dear angels and scrubs before you go on a break you have to give report to another nurse kasi pag nag code yun sinong tatakbo doon well anyway the code team will still go but they will who who's the nurse for this patient and it so happened that ako yung pinagbigyan ng report can you start giving medications Yes, the answer is yes. Can you start defibrillating patient if the rhythm is shockable? Of course, yes. But as soon as the code team will arrive, you will let them take over.